just recorded a 20 minutes video I'm proudly saying that I bought a new mic and surprised the video was in 800 pixels yeah no problem I can make one more <laughs> all right it's uh, today is the second part of tic tac to a tutorial and uh, I've got lots of uh, stuff done today as you see the field the board is ready already drawing is uh, ready there was the AI over there and yeah there is a victory check lots of stuff and yeah I switched to Windows surprisingly it's uh, way faster than Ubuntu Ubuntu is uh, fast on launch, but there is no uh, GPU acceleration for uh, emulator. Emulator is gonna kill your computer on Linux. Yeah. So it's fast on launch uh, time, but... Alright, so animations we had uh, before. So if you followed, you know how this thing works. Now let's... Uh, the board itself how what's in here so I take the width of the screen subtract those two lines and uh, divide over three to get square size one one square size right and I have nine of them for each position Okay, and all sizes I have uh, here in constants in dp, like for example line size in dp 16, this line is 16 dp, and horizontal margin, I have some margin here, and stuff. AI turn delay 300 milliseconds to look like he thinks. <laughs> Yep, uh, activity is uh, fixed to portrait for now only. There's nine uh, rectangles there. Here are those rectangles. It's a class from graphics. And there is a left top right bottom. So I have it uh, created in on science changed. This method is called once during the view creation after constructor and before on draw. So I create those rectangles only once with the horrible attributes. Don't even look at them. And uh, actually on those rects there is very convenient method. contains to check on which uh, position you clicked really nice instead of creating nine views and uh, setting on click listeners on each one you just check use this method touch event get x and y And then I still have a more to refactor, but this method uh, is really nice. Just call this method, and it's gonna start animating shapes at this row and column. And you give the shape type so it works for AI and user both. Here's the start animation method. So, as I mentioned in the previous post, the issue is that you cannot draw outside of onDraw method. Which kinda creates this weird architecture. For example, as you see, I have a object animator to animate 
this drawing and I cannot draw on canvas here. What I need is uh, to animate some value which is saved outside of this method and then use an invalidate method we trigger on draw and in on draw I use this V value here it is animated value is it saved I'm using it as a fraction for current animated shape shape and uh, yeah so this is and here I have created a really nice cloth shape with a nice abstraction for drawing shapes, our shapes. You just call shape type. Shape types are circle and X. It takes those integers. Subtype is the <clears throat> So I wanted to create different uh, kind of shapes. So if you remember from previous post, I have uh, those coordinates. I have them from the user input so that uh, you can create any shape, any kind of uh, X and all, and use random ones. So that they don't look similar each time. But I didn't finish it yet. It's not hard though. Then it uh, need a canvas to draw on. Rect inside, which is this uh, rect. Those. So you pass a rect, and it's gonna draw a shape inside of it. And this rect is the uh, coordinates on the screen. So for example, this rect, if this point is uh, 0, 0,500, then it's left 0, top 500, right, this 0 plus size of the box. And fraction, fraction is a value from 0 to 1 to animate, or 1 is the final shape done checks for shape type here and uh, iterates through those this huge list of points coordinates to draw shapes yeah draw bitmap from the previous post Really nice abstraction. Then we draw previous shapes. Which ones that were drawn before, not animated. Using the same draw shape method, but uh, with the value of one fraction final, not animating. And we save it in a field of ints which uh, are those three types none, which is empty field like this, circle and X. And then we check for victory. So let's see. This is in animation. There is on and, and uh, on animation ended so after animation ended we check if some somebody won this is uh, victor checker so i pass field in here and my shape I go through horizontal vertical diagonal lines and check if there is a victory appeared and return either null if there is no victory or victory class with the useful fields. 
there is a victory where is that right if there is victory then yeah save it in a field and once again call invalidate to trigger on draw and here it checks if victory is not null which means that somebody won it uh, has the winner field as well and here I just draw those lines it's not implemented yet only implemented for horizontal gonna finish that later and uh, the final part is AI after animation ended we switch AI boolean turn to opposite and if uh, this turn is AI and we're still playing AI makes decision in this class I took from my very first tic-tac-toe app didn't want to create it from scratch the main logic here is that first it checks for center if it's empty it uh, selects center otherwise it checks if uh, AI is close to victory then it goes for victory if not then uh, stops player from winning if you we, player is close to win then there is some other opponent has one share or uh, the very final is random just random if nobody is close to victory yeah so it knows about the field here is the field with all those inputs and uh, after it made decision here it is handler post delayed to make it look like it's a real person thinking draw shape this method with the row and column and AI shape draw shape yeah the one we call for user and uh, AI this one let's see one more time what it looks like so here it is select center then it goes for victory basically And uh, in really many cases, uh, there is gonna be a draft. Oh, let's. Uh, uh, there's no more. And here it is, it goes for victory. It could have stopped me, but... Yeah. And let, uh, let sh me show that there is not all lines are implemented. Yeah, so you see only horizontal lines are showing up yet. And there is no winner text here yet. This is gonna be in the next post. Done. All right. And uh, also in the next post, there's gonna be Wi-Fi multiplayer with Firebase as a backend. Login, sign up, a list of online users, uh, Firebase push notification to invite to play, and all that cool stuff.
really exciting. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Take care.